Gemdo's released firmware updates for their Switch 2 docks to address the 21.0.0 firmware update sent down by Nintendo that killed the docks. I'm going to show you how to flash them and show you these docks now working on this issue of Switch 2 News Direct. Here's a fast update for users affected by the Switch 2 dock issues following system update 21.0.0. Gemdo has released new firmware for both their HDMI dock cables and their dongle-style docks. The new firmware has been verified to restore full functionality on Gemdo's HDMI dock cables, allowing normal video output after the update. However, results for the Gemdo dongle-style docks remain inconsistent. While the firmware is available, successful flashing and post-update operation are not guaranteed. It's also important to note that the Gemdo firmware does not work on generic third-party docks that simply look similar. These generic units use different chipsets, and attempts to flash them will fail. A critical reminder, firmware flashing is always done at your own risk. Incorrect or interrupted flashing can permanently brick any device, including official hardware. Users should proceed with caution. In summary, Gemdo HDMI cable Confirmed fixed. Gemdo dongle dock. Firmware available. Reliability uncertain. Generic lookalike docks. No compatible fix at this time. More updates will follow as additional manufacturers respond to the 21.0.0 changes. First off, for anybody who watched my last video, as you saw that I have the two uh, Gemdo HDMI cable docks, one being a 4K 60 hertz, one being in a 4K 144 hertz. And then we have two of these dongle style docks. Now, these ones I could not get working, but these are not Gemdo docks. These are Need Use is the company. Now, I'm assuming that these all come from the same factory and maybe they do something in the firmware to tag them as um, Gemdo. That's why the firmware update isn't working on these. Because if you look at the firmware documentation that Gemdo has given with the firmware, it shows two separate docs and they call them pattern one and pattern two. And that has to do with the, the pattern of how the USB, um, HDMI and USB-C are configured. So if we get the old school USB-A um, orientated, so the if you notice there's a gap, there's a plastic spacer there so you can put the USB in correctly. If we get that, the same orientation on both docks, I don't know if you can see it, you'll see that the order of USB-C HDMI is different. It goes right to left instead of left to right or vice versa. So that's what pattern A and pattern B is. Both of these docks match up to their pattern A and pattern B for Gemdo's documentation, but it does not update. So my guess is they did something to the Gemdo firmware. So when that firmware app is run, it probably searches for something that triggers it to say, yes, this is a Gemdo doc, run the firmware update. So we'll see if in use actually uh, gives us a firmware update. So these are off the table for now, and we're gonna move on to these two docs right here. So I will show um, how I actually updated these right now. First of all, I wanna go to the website. Here is the URL. I'll also put it in the description. And let's navigate to the site and let's get the File for the uh, Gemdo for the Gemdo 4K 60 Hertz right here, and we'll download that file. So I have these downloaded in a directory with all the other firmware files that I need, and these are in zip format. So unzip these with whatever utility you have. Now I'm not going to explain how to do all this technical side of it. If you don't know how to unzip a file, go and figure that out. I'm just going to give you the generic steps that I'm doing here. Using your favorite zip utility, go ahead and unzip the 4K 60 Hertz firmware. And now we'll navigate inside that directory that you just unzipped. And inside you'll see we have an executable that will be used to update the firmware on your dock. So the USB cable coming from your computer, USB-C, plugs into the USB-C port on your HDMI Jamdo cable. Don't plug the USB-C side into anything. Then you will right click on the executable, run as administrator. Soon as you click that, it'll scan the port, it will upload the firmware, sit there for a little bit, and then turn from red to green. Once it turns to green, your cable is updated. Unplug your USB-C cable from the Gemdo's USB-C port next to the HDMI plug and test your cable. 
If it doesn't work, the only thing I can recommend is to flash it again and make sure you have the right firmware for that cable. Other than that, I can't help you out. Keep in mind, this firmware is not provided by me. It is from Gemdo. It's their responsibility, and you are taking a risk flashing any firmware on any device, and that risk is on you. So if you don't feel comfortable doing this, do not do it. And let's get back to the demo. So let's do the uh, 60 hertz first. And I have my Switch 2 sitting right here. All right, and as you can see, we're at 21.0.0. And we'll keep the switch to on screen the whole time here. We will grab this cable. So I'm going to take the switch to and set it on this stand I have right here whilst I plug it in. All right, so everything's plugged in, power's plugged in, and let's go ahead and plug the switch to it. All right, it's looking good. And there we go, Pro Controller's connected. Again, we don't have any sound, because I don't have any sound hooked to this, but let's bust out some Pikmin. And I'll do just the same thing I did in the other video. We'll get it, we'll get everything booted up here and I'll pull it off the dock. I'll be able to bring it a little bit closer and unplug it at the same time. And you can see. Again, I don't mean I doubt anybody thinks I'm I'm faking it here, but there's always some clown. All right, and then we'll move controller. You can see me cycling through the menu. And everything looks good to go. I'm gonna set the pro controller down here. And let's. Get this as close as I can without ripping my monitor off the unplug. I'm trying not to block the screen. And oh, of course it's wants me to verify the there we are. So it's working. So that's that. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and run the uh 144 hertz cable. Run that one down. So let's unplug this one first. So the 60 is working good. If you hear some background noise, it's kind of late and uh, that's coming from the other. <laughs> other room. All right, so we have the 144 cable right here. All right, we should see the no signal pop up any second. I think it should record. Yeah, there we go. So we see that we're plugged in. <clears throat> and we're still running at the, you can see the screen we're running at here. And we'll go ahead and, I guess we'll just plug it in while it's on the stand. And there we go, 144 hertz working. Let's go ahead and. Get our Pro Controller connected. And as you can see, we're cycling through the menu again. And everything looks good. Let's go into story mode. And let's go ahead and disconnect it. Same thing. So that's that. So that's the uh, Jamdo, uh, I just call them the HDMI dot cables, 
Both James Doe's, the one, the uh, 4K 60 hertz, 4K 144 hertz. I, I bought them both just for testing and to play around with it. I use them a decent amount too. Um, I use the, the dongle ones more, so it kind of sucks I can't get these going, but I'm gonna, I'll figure something out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next news video. Peace.